Look, I had to do another one, okay? The, the streets is asking for it. Let's get it. What is good, Holla Squad? We are the Little Squad. Listen, today we are back with another reaction, and we're reacting to some more infographics. Now, this is why flat earthers are dead wrong, okay? Now, I've told everybody in my last video I did about flat earth, okay? That all I need y'all to do is put a link to a video that explains it. I'm going to watch it and I'm going to give my honest opinion. Okay. Now, I had people in the comments like, hey, just read the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Go outside and look for yourself. Everything that I'm supposed to look for in the Bible should be in a video. Okay. So I don't got to read the whole thing from front to back by myself. You know what I'm saying? And I can't even do it in front of the squad unless y'all want to have weekly Bible readings till we get to the end. And I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to do that, okay? So, I looked up infographics. Infographics puts their foot in their videos, okay? Head over there. They drop a video every day, okay? Every day. About mad. It's called infographics, okay? They give you a graphic and give you info. So, we're about to find out why they say flat earthers are dead wrong. But before we hop into this video, make sure y'all smash that like button. Uh, it's really going to help the video out. It helps the video do well. Uh, and uh, yeah, that means we can do more videos debunking or proving the, 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 the shape of the earth. Okay. Depending on what side of the spectrum you seem to be on. Also, hit that sub button so you will be notified when I drop more of these rabbit hole videos. Head over to my rabbit hole uh, playlist. It has all the videos about things that you look for at three in the morning. Okay, so we're going to hop into this why flat earthers are dead wrong. Let's get it. The following is a story from one of our unfortunate writers. During the holidays, I traveled back home to see my mom for what I thought was going to be a fun break, but things turned a bit sour one evening when she broke some important news to me. The earth is flat, she announced, speaking in a serious tone, usually reserved for matters of life and death. What on earth are you talking about? I said to her. And again, she told me the planet was actually flat, and all these years we've been lied to. The fact Sarah, is indisputable, Sarah. she said, immutable, incontestable. And she knew that because she'd been doing a lot of reading on the internet. Okay, I told her, <laughs> state your case. This is how our conversation went. Okay, she said, firstly, you don't know that I'm wrong because you never observed the earth as a whole. From where you stand anywhere on earth, the world will seem flat to you. That's a fact. I peered out the window. She was right about that. Things did look pretty flat out there. Was the entire world just one big... The fact that, like, humans... Okay, not all humans. Like, because some humans believe in the... That the world doesn't revolve around them. The fact that we think about the earth and we say, hmm, I don't see a curve standing on the ground. It can't be curved. When the comparison to the size of the earth to us is so astronomical to even think, bro, that's like taking an ant, right? And putting it on like the biggest dome in the world, okay? Like the Super Dome or the Georgia Dome. Well, the Georgia Dome is RIP to that. We miss you. But putting it on a dome and telling it to like look, it wouldn't be able to see the curve of the dome. It's too small. And, and the comparison of the side is, is more astronomical than that side. So well, let's get back into this. Whopper? So that's it, I said? Just because I can't observe the entire thing, it must be flat? No, she replied. That's just my starting point, and stop smirking. This is deadly serious. <laughs> At that point, an image flashed through my mind of my mother surrounded by men in white coats coaxing her to take her daily medication. That's all. Okay, I said. I haven't personally been up so high that I saw the spherical Earth, but other people have, and they have seen the Earth. You can actually see it rotating on its axis. We've measured the diameter of the thing, and it's approximately 70 900 miles or to most people living on this non-flat earth 12,700 kilometers mm -hmm. there are images of this big ball all over the place all lies she said those books have been lying to you the videos and the photos have been manipulated she said the earth is flat like an ancient myth no so no 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 somebody left this comment in my last in my last video they said the earth was being held up by elephants i never heard it before and this popped up. No. And a, a flying tur no. This isn't it's not real. It, this 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 isn't real life. All right, let's see. Let's see what gran granny, okay? Just tread lightly, okay? 
you tread like lying to you. The videos and the photos have been manipulated. She said the earth is flat like in ancient myths where a turtle carries it on its back. And what we observe in the sky is not what we think. What encompasses the earth is actually a firmament dome, she said. NASA has lied to us and is in on the conspiracy, but that doesn't mean all scientists know the truth, only that they have too bought into this spherical nonsense. She said during the Cold War the conspiracy got going and billions of dollars were spent on space exploration. This money is still being wildly spent and you my son are paying taxes and funding this rubbish. People have been getting incredibly rich because you take movies like Apollo 13 seriously. You're telling me Tom Hanks is in on the conspiracy? No, she replied, and don't get funny, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, I said, I have one word word to say to you. Seasons. Expand, she said, trying to sound scholarly. We have different seasons all over the world, ergo the sun's rays are hitting different places and they're making places hotter or colder. Those rays hit different parts of the earth, and so when it's winter in one place it's summer in another place. If the earth were flat, all the earth would have is the same season all at the same time. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to know this. She told me that the sun just moves around the flat earth, so it hits certain places at certain times. She then went to get a plate out of the kitchen and began moving an orange around it. She said the sun and the moon were the same size, and she said the sun, that orange she was holding, rotates around the North Pole, which is actually in the middle of the flat earth. But mom, I said, the sun is much bigger than the moon and that is observable. That orange plate thing doesn't really mean anything. I also explained to her that if this theory were true, then New York and Los Angeles would see the sun set and rise at the same time, which is Ooh, not true. There tough. is a time difference. So when it's evening in New York, it's afternoon in LA. How can that be? She told me I'm an ignorant fool, but didn't answer my query. This was quite strong language for my mom. It seemed to me that all those hours she had spent arguing online had made her quite intolerant to opposing ideas. Dare I say it, I was offended by her breach of familiar decorum. Okay, I said, once I unruffled my feathers. What's at the edge of this flat world? and why don't things just fall off? She told me that surrounding the Earth is a giant wall of ice and that is Antarctica. Like Game of Thrones, I said, <laughs> laughing. Should we fear the White Walkers? If you're not going to take this seriously, I won't explain further, she said sternly. Okay, I go am definitely on. The she sun said the show. sun was in fact not millions of miles away. She said it's actually only about 32 miles in diameter and it hovers around the flat earth at around 3,000 miles away. It acts like a moving spotlight, she said. So when it's above you, it's light and when it goes away, it's dark. But it also moves closer to the North Pole in the middle of the earth at a gradual rate. And then it moves outward toward the edge of the world. And that's why we have seasons, it's that simple. The thing is, mom, if you use this model, the sun would never set. You can actually watch scientists making a model of your version of of the events it bro this uh, this okay listen 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 if the sun if the earth was flat okay that means if you were above the clouds you should be able to take a telescope from any part of the world and be able to see the sun if you believe the earth is flat that's all you got to do to prove it you can literally go up in that space at six in the morning, look over, see the sun by Asia, you know, because we got telescopes that can see freaking stars. So if you claim that the, the thing is only 500, you know what I'm saying, miles above us, all you got to do is get above to clouds to be able to see it, right? That's all, bro, that, that is all you got to do if you believe that. But you can't because it's, it's, it's not true doesn't work according to how things are down here. Moreover, I told her, during the equinox the sun rises due east and sets due west everywhere on the planet except at the poles. How could this be possible with your orange and plate theory? Sundials wouldn't even work, which would have been bad for people before we started using timepieces. I didn't even know that. Okay, please continue. This, this you were also saying something about a massive ice wall. Allow me to retort, she said. She's a big Quentin Tarantino fan. What lies beyond the wall is the greatest mystery to us all. We simply can't get over it, and it probably protects us from something insidious. This wall holds in the oceans, and it keeps us from knowing what's beyond. In fact, this year we plan to sail to the wall in what will be one of the boldest missions humankind has ever undertaken. Okay, so who is going to be on that great voyage, I asked her. She told me it's headed by Flat Earth International, a group she is now a card-carrying member of. I wonder Mom, what, I happened to what happened to I'm very to surprised it? that there is this giant wall of ice around the world, and so far no one, and I mean no one, has ever photographed it. She replied that we have seen great walls of ice and that the rest of the border is made up of mountain ranges. That's why we can't just fall off the edge of the world. But why haven't the planes seen this edge, I asked her. She then so, went on about something called the Pac-Man effect, and like in the game, when a plane reaches the edge, it just teleports to the other side. She admitted that this was only a current theory.
This can't be real. It can it cannot be real. They call it I'm gonna just let them say it again. Seen this edge, I asked her. She then went on about something called the Pac-Man effect, and like in the game, when a plane reaches the edge, it just teleports to the other side. She admitted that this was only a current theory and uh, not the truth like everything else she'd said. This was now new territory and those men in white coats were suddenly becoming quite real to me. And what about gravity? I asked her. To which point she said the whole thing is a hoax. Things just fall. She dropped that orange to prove her point and amid my utter astonishment at her simplicity in undermining years of science, <laughs> I wondered why on earth she ever sent me to school. She said under this flat earth there are magnets and they pull the oceans and change sea level. Maybe we should talk about the stars, I said. I told her that if we were on a flat earth, we'd all see the same constellations in the night sky. In real life, if you were at a certain latitude, you might see the Big Dipper, but if you were at another latitude, it wouldn't be visible. How's that possible? Going back to ancient times, astronomers saw the changes in the constellations and they knew the earth couldn't be flat. How do people on different sides of the world see different night skies? She told me when we travel, we simply have a different perspective, so that when we travel away from things, they can become smaller and then they just disappear. But they are still there. That's why we can see certain stars in certain places. She said there's a vanishing point for stars just like anything else we observe at a distance. Mom, I said, I had Thank you. Admit that I don't quite understand that in this context, but I'll just say that astronomers will tell you that certain constellations appear in the night sky at certain locations. Your vanishing point theory doesn't exactly convince me. And let's talk about the horizon when we see things like ships float out to sea. They get farther away and appear to sink. We see less of the ship. Let's say the water was very calm. If the earth was flat, we'd see that ship go out for a long way and then it would disappear over the horizon. Then let's say we used an instrument to magnify that object and we might see it but see it seeming to sink. At some point it'll disappear, never mind what instrument we're using because of the curvature of the earth. If this place were flat, with a good enough telescope we should be able to see every- that, Bro, this is the video- Bro, listen. Everything in front of us, but we- that, bro, that's what I said. You should literally be able to go to the coast of the United States, okay? East coast, west coast, it don't matter. You should be able to go to the east coast, get a telescope that can see stars, okay? Mind you, this thing can see stars. Look across the ocean and see the whatever country is the closest. If you're in, the, if you're in freaking California, you will see Asia. If you are in, uh, like, the west, the east coast, you'll see Asia. Uh, Europe. That's all you, bro. Look, it is very simple to be able to prove it if y'all, if Earth was flat. We cannot explain that, dearest mother. Look, son, it's all about perspective and light refraction. The object is not going over the horizon, you just think it is. Weird, I said, since it's been scientifically proven. She had one word for that. Liars! Okay, so why if other objects in space are obviously not flat, how come we live on a flat object? Hope you have a reasonable answer oh. to that one. There is no reason, my child. Just look around bro, you. I'm that TV you. is rectangular, but the clock is round. The Earth is just different, just as all things have certain shapes. Well, Mom, I admire your deductive reasoning, and I hope one day I'll see my first square bird swim through a desert of marshmallow <laughs> sand. Because, hey, there are no rules in this universe. Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, she replied angrily, but the highest form of intelligence, I quipped, quoting Oscar Wilde. Ooh. I then told her something else. I brought up a flight from Sydney to Santiago, Chile. This 7,000-mile flight takes roughly 12 hours. If the Earth were flat, it would take much, much longer. You can actually go online and track this flight. Is everyone lying about the flight time? On a flat Earth map, you can measure the distance and calculate how long it would take. That's and tough. it's been done, and it's far longer than if the world were a sphere. She just shook her head at that. Okay, she then said, so if the plane is flying around the Earth's curvature, then surely it wouldn't be horizontal all the time. So how come you take a spirit level on a plane and it shows it is horizontal most of the time? If you attach the world's smallest spirit level to the back of a housefly and told it to fly around a beach ball, that level would not read flat. Mom, that incredibly simplistic example has convinced me that we undoubtedly cannot share the same DNA. Let me just say, <laughs> the Earth is not a beach ball and a plane is not a fly. 
I hope that's clear to you. She looked down at me like I was the idiot. I told her that planes lift into the air with their wings and this enables them to fly, which I thought was pretty obvious. Once up in the sky, the pilot doesn't have to make many adjustments to stay at a certain altitude. He might adjust the plane when he wants to reduce altitude, but this is very incremental. It's the same thing when you're traveling down what looks like a long straightish road. You might be moving to the left, but it's so slight only a minor turning of the wheel over some period of time has to be done. Imagine a housefly flying over New York. Does it have to go down on a downward trajectory to get where it wants to go? Exactly, she screamed. That just proves my point. I had to sit down for a second and hold my head <laughs> in my hands. It wasn't funny anymore. I was no longer having a good time. She was totally impervious to the most basic reasoning. Okay, let's get back to the absurd stuff, Mom, because that's at least amusing. And I'm talking about the great ice wall that no man has ever breached. You have to wonder why the plane can't get over this wall, because there are plenty of aerial photographs of Antarctica taken from planes. Mm, well, she I said, maybe you just don't want to show us what's out there so no plane is allowed to go that far. If it did, it would pack man them? back like I already told you. But we will get to the edge of the world, and that's why we're going to sail there on the Great Flat Earth Expedition. Okay, and you know the ship that they'll be sailing on will use navigational instruments that were designed on the scientific basis of the curvature of the Earth? Like, if the Earth were flat, you could just use three satellites and be on your way. But because it's spherical, you need satellites on the other side of the Earth. You do understand that's that, tough. don't you? She scowled at me. But then that turned into a smug smile. Oh, you'll see. We'll get there, and all you deniers will be in awe at what we've achieved. Wait a minute, I said, and I went into the kitchen. I came back and passed her a plastic cake knife that we never use. You might need this, I said. It's dragon glass. That's just a made-up story, she said. I know, I told her. Let that sink in. We think after that, you need some more conspiracies to sink your teeth into. So watch the video, Is There Evidence That Aliens Did Come to Roswell? Or What You Didn't Know About the Bermuda? All right, we, we might check out some of those videos. Y'all let me know some other conspiracies we should check out. I want, bro, I, I want to see them. Okay, now, we got, bro, this man had flat earth in a chokehold this whole video. Now, if you got a video to dispute this evidence, I will watch it. I, bro, I am open to reacting to anything, okay? That's not going to give me copyright strikes, okay? Because that I, I cannot do. Anyway, this, though. Why flat earthers are dead wrong? I'm here for it, okay? I think my my man's came with some, you know what I'm saying, some evidence, some some logic, okay? Besides, it, it's just flat. If, if that's what your argument reduces down to, then, you know, it is what it is. But if you have a video that can convince me, link it below and I will watch it, Okay. If any other conspiracies y'all want to see? Do y'all want to see something about aliens? We can check out some alien videos. We can check out some Bermuda Triangle videos. Any other conspiracies that y'all want to see, let me know. I always drop these videos at night around like 9, 10 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Something you could go to sleep watching. You know what I'm saying? Conspiracies. We, we done seen stuff about how El Chapo uh, uh, escaped prison. Everything. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all head over there to the to the playlist and watch them or y'all can head over to infographics or any other channel that i react to uh y'all check them out because they they do hard work on their content and i'm pretty sure you know what i'm saying they want the acknowledgement and that way you can binge watch all of their stuff like i was at one point until i decided to watch all the videos with the squad okay but before y'all head about it here make sure y'all smash that like button more importantly hit that sub button so you will be notified when more rabbit hole videos drop in the future okay we got some interesting things coming in the future. So you might want to be, you know what I'm saying, front and center for that. But not only that, you will be joining the squad as MVP member because you watch this video to the end and that's what MVPs do. And uh, we need more MVPs like you. So go ahead and hit that button. All right. But until next time, we out of here. What's good, Holler Squad? We the latest squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, appreciate y'all making it to the end of this video. I want to give a special shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all really got this thing lit, making us the litest squad on the YouTube platform. But I want to give a special shout out to all my members. I appreciate y'all. We got a special shout out list here. If you want to figure out how to get your name on this list, make sure you head over to my membership tab. It will see the little join button on my channel. But also make sure y'all check out Holla Squad TV, which is my second channel. If you want to see a little bit more about my life and things we have going on, but listen, if you got a dream out there, just know that you can get it because we believe.